Okay. <laughs> Mm, I'll probably get started in about four or five minutes or so. I've just given everyone a chance to come in here who wants to join us. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be doing some yoga. My daughter's peeking through the door. Hello. Stay there. I don't want you to come on camera. You won't. Okay. Love you. Okay, so we're going to be doing yoga. We're going to be doing a little grounding practice. We'll do a few stretches. Um, just being mindful of the breath. Nothing too intense. Nothing too intense. We'll probably stand up like once maybe. And then we'll end uh, lying down in Shavasana. And we're doing this new technique. I actually just did it today for some training, but I want to practice teaching it and just see how that goes and how people feel about it. It's really just like you tensing up like parts of your body and then releasing it. And it's supposed to help you relax more. And I've never taught it in any of my classes. I did it in my training um, originally, but then this new training that I'm doing, I did it today. So I want to practice teaching it because I really liked um doing it with this different instructor. <clears throat> so welcome everyone joining. Uh, I'll give it about two minutes or so. We're gonna be doing just some grounding yoga. Nothing too crazy, nothing too intense. So if you have a few moments, a few minutes of your day that you can just kind of pause, take a break, uh, move the body with intention, take some nice deep breaths. That's what we're gonna be doing today. And everyone joining, I hope um, you're having a good day so far. My daughter's in here right now, but I'm a little um, picky about her being on the internet and whatnot. So you got to be careful, too, because there's this mirror in the back, which I can always move if I need to. Ugh, the lighting. I think it's good. I don't think you can see her. <clears throat> okay, so I'll probably just give it another minute or so. We're going to be doing a little grounding at yoga practice today. Again, nothing too intense, nothing too crazy or out there. You probably won't even sweat. I mean, I guess you might sweat, um, but you might not. So... <laughs> And I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I have a heater right next to me because I get cold so easily and it's officially fall. So let me take that off. Let's see, I also have some crystals. Maybe I can like lay a crystal out or something. But for today's practice, you really don't need anything at all. As you can see, I'm not even going to be using a yoga mat today. Um, I'm just going to be lying on the floor later on and just doing the practice on the floor on the carpet so for those of you who are just joining you don't need anything at all to do this grounding practice today I had a little rose quartz in my pocket my pocket so I'm gonna set that in front of me and let's see it's 3 15 where I'm at now so we can go ahead and just begin to make our way into the practice so welcome welcome everyone thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me um setting some time aside today to really just like take care of yourself and tend to yourself um and give yourself that self-love that self-care that you so deserve so thank you again for being here we're gonna begin today's practice here let me move some stuff I'm also not in my room right now. I just want to preference that. That's why I'm like kind of like moving things as I'm beginning. <laughs> Turn the heater down a little. So we'll begin making our way into a comfortable seated position. Really just sitting in a way that's comfortable for you today. <clears throat> You can place your hands on the tops of your knees. Or you, ooh, 
that scared me. <laughs> or you can place your hand one on top of the other in your lap. And then if you feel guided to, you can also begin to just gently close your eyes or soften your gaze to the ground, to the earth. See if you can relax your shoulders a little away from your ears. And imagine that you're sitting up nice and tall, reaching the crown of your head towards the ceiling, towards the sky. See if you can get your chin parallel to the ground. And gently very subtly just kind of lift the chest. Lifting the chest, helping us stand up just a little taller. And we're just gonna take this moment to notice how we're feeling in the space today. Allow your breath to rise and fall naturally. There's no need to force the breath. And then when, wherever you add, gently begin to bring your hands together and bring your hands towards your heart. Imagine that you're lifting the sternum, meeting your thumbs, keeping the chest open. And we're gonna take a moment to just set an intention for the practice that we're about to begin. So our intentions, it can be an affirmation, it could be an I am affirmation, it could be a sentence, it can be a word. Picking and choosing an intention that makes us feel good, that helps to uplift our spirits. Once you have your intentions set in your mind, you can gently release the hands back to its resting position. <clears throat> that was my daughter leaving the room. <laughs> and as we begin the practice, we'll begin to gently deepen the breath, turning on our ujjayi breathing, taking a deep inhale through the nose, And deep exhale through the nose. If you don't know how to do ujjayi breathing, it's very simple. Imagine how when we were a kid, we used to use our breath to fog up a window or a mirror. How we do ujjayi breathing is by keeping the same restriction in the back of our throat, but closing our mouth, inhaling through our nose, and exhaling through our nose. And when we keep that slight restriction in the back of our throat, we begin to make the sound of ocean waves, or some people like to say Darth Vader. And this really just helps to keep our mind focused on what it is that we're doing. So taking a deep inhale through the nose, and deep exhale through the nose. You can gently begin to open your eyes, taking your time. And we'll begin, we'll begin to start with a few shoulder rolls. So you can place your hands on your knees if they're not there already. Take a deep inhale. And as you inhale, begin to squeeze your shoulders to your ears, 
lifting your elbows. And then on an exhale, begin to roll your shoulders down your back, opening your chest. Again, make it a little dramatic. So inhale, squeeze the shoulders to your ears, lift the elbows. Exhale, roll your shoulders down your back. As you roll your shoulders down your back, you can also gaze up if it's comfortable in the neck. And again, squeeze the shoulders to the ears, big inhale. Exhale, roll the shoulders down the back, opening the chest. And take one more on your own. Again, just taking your time. There's no need to rush it. Coming back to center, we'll begin to do some stretches with the neck. Being very gentle as we move our neck around, keeping in mind that our neck is an extension of our spine. And from here, come to a neutral space looking forward. And then begin to imagine that you're creating circles with the nose. So start off really small. And as you're making the circle with your nose, imagine that the circle is getting bigger. Inhales to look up. And exhale to come down. Inhale looks up. Exhale look down. Allow that circle with your nose to get bigger and bigger. Again, take your time, no need to rush anything. And then once you feel like your circle is about as big as you can get it, exhale to look down. And then as you inhale, begin to go the opposite way. Still making that big circle with your nose. Inhale comes up. And exhale to go down. Now we'll begin to make our circle smaller again. So very slowly, begin to bring your circle in a little smaller. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. Circle's gonna get smaller and smaller. Allow your circle to get so small that you eventually end up back to center, back to where we were started. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coming back into a neutral position, looking straight ahead, whatever is in front of you. See if you can smile and think of one thing that you're grateful for today. And if you feel like you don't know what to think of that you're grateful for, simply express some gratitude towards the breath. On an inhale, very slowly begin to raise your arms up over your head. Take your time. Spread your fingers as wide as you can. Palms facing towards each other. OK, 
continue to breathe here. And then on an exhale, point your palms facing away from your face and begin to slowly cactus the arms, bringing your elbows to a 90 degree angle. Hold here and breathe. Imagine that you're opening the chest just a little bit. In yoga, micro movements are always more than enough. You might not always see the movement, but if you can feel it, that is what matters. That's what's important here. On an inhale, very slowly begin to raise your arms all the way up over your head once again, palms facing towards each other. And then on an exhale, begin to sweep your arms out in front of you. Again, keeping your arms parallel from each other until they're all the way parallel to the floor. Take a deep inhale here. And then exhale through the nose, opening your arms out to either sides of you. Don't be afraid to take up space here. Hold here and breathe. On an inhale, sweep your arms all the way back out in front of you. And then on an exhale, drop your hands back to your knees, back to your thighs. So from here, we're gonna kind of do some wave movements. So you can kind of start off slow, kind of dropping one shoulder, lifting the other shoulder up. And dropping the other, lifting the other one up. Again, in yoga, it doesn't always have to be these big dramatic movements. So as we continue to kind of move side to side, we're gonna do some like intuitive movements. So this part is completely up to you. You can kind of move in like a wave motion. If you wanna move more in a circular motion, do so. And kind of rock your head side to side. Just practicing listening to our body, listen to how our body wants to move in the space right now. And moving as fast or as slow in which is comfortable for you. And then however you're moving, begin to come back to a neutral position. Bring your hands to prayer to your heart. And just take a moment to come back to the intentions that we set at the beginning of the practice. Once again, see if you can smile just a little bit. You can release your hands from your heart and then we'll slowly begin to make our way into a tabletop position. So your knees are underneath your hips. You can spread your knees out, hip width distance apart or a little wider just depending on how it feels. Bring your wrists about underneath the shoulders. But again, just practicing listening to your body, like <clears throat> what feels good today? You might want to walk it out a little farther than your shoulders. And then spread your fingers as wide as you can. This helps just to protect our wrist here. And then with the feet, you can either keep the toes curled, pressing the toes into the earth, or pressing the tops of the feet into the earth. And we'll do some cat cows here. So as you begin to inhale, slowly drop the belly and either gaze out in front of you 
or even gazing up. On your next exhale, begin to slowly round the spine, arching the back real dramatically here. And look towards your navel. On your next inhale, once again, begin to drop the belly, gaze up. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. And then on an exhale, round the spine. Arch the back. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, slowly drop the belly, gaze up. Exhale, last one, round the spine, look towards your navel, push from the earth. On an inhale, come back to a neutral spine. Cross the legs behind your back. Roll over to sit. And then from a seated position, we're actually going to begin to slowly make our way to stand. So take your time getting there. <clears throat> As you stand, there's no right or wrong way to do it. And we'll come into Tadasana. So feet about hip width distance apart. Again, just be aware of how you feel. You might want to bring them out a little farther. And as we come into Tadasana, we'll begin with the feet. So we'll begin to just gently lift the toes here and we're gonna do a few circles on the feet. So imagine that you're shifting the weight more into the right, more into the balls of your feet, and then into the left. Once again, micro movements are always more than enough in yoga. It's not about how it looks, it's all about how it feels. And then slowly begin to come to a neutral position. Imagine that the weight is evenly, evenly distributed to the four corners of your feet. And then you can slowly begin to release the toes. Keep a slight micro bend in your knees. Drop the tailbone down. You may even use your hands to help lift your belly. Lift up your belly button, dropping the tailbone down, hugging the lower ribs into your torso. From here, relax the shoulders away from the ears. And relax the arms down by the sides. So whatever is comfortable. If you need to keep a slight micro bend in the elbows, go ahead and do so. And imagine that your chin is parallel to the earth. Also imagining that maybe there's like a little string on the top of your head that's pulling you up, helping you stand up just a little taller. And if it feels good, you can gently just close your eyes here. And we're just noticing how we're feeling right now. Gently begin to bring your hands to prayer to your heart. And we'll once again bring our mind back to the intentions. Gently coming back to Ujjayi breathing, if you've noticed that it's kind of started to slip away, know that that's normal and that's okay. But just taking a moment to bring your awareness back to the breath. You can release your hands from your heart. 
and it'll begin to just shake something out. So again, doing some intuitive movements, just shaking something out. There's no right or wrong here. <clears throat> you need to do a few circles with the ankles, with the wrist. If you want to kind of fling your arms side to side, doing a slight twist in the spine. Go ahead and do so. Just listen to what feels good. If you want to do a little dancey dance, <laughs> go ahead and do so. What these intuitive movements do is just practice practicing listening to what we need in the moment. And that's all just a practice. And then go ahead, come back to a neutral position, finding a little bit of stillness. If you are on a yoga mat today, you'll begin to make your way towards the top of your mat. And we'll begin to do a forward fold here. So from here, place your hands on your hips, coming back into Tadasana, Feet are hip width distance apart. Take a big inhale. Imagine that you're lengthening your spine up towards the sky. Hug your lower ribs into your torso. And then on an exhale, bend the knees generously and begin to fold forward, bending from the hips. And then from here, you can place your hands on the tops of your thighs. If you have any props or like to use props during yoga, or have something available, you could always place your hands on blocks out in front of you. But we'll stay here and continue to breathe. Coming back to Ujjayi breathing, creating those ocean wave noises. And as you inhale, imagine that your spine is lengthening. And then as you exhale, imagine that you're folding forward just a little more. See if you can keep your back relatively straight here. Imagine that you're pointing your chest towards the earth, shining your heart towards the earth. Take a big inhale through your nose. And then as you exhale, maybe even folding forward a little more, bringing the top of your head towards the earth. Keep your knees bent very generously here. It's okay to round the spine a little if you decide to fold forward more. You can keep your hands on your thighs. You can bring your hands to your calves. You could hook on to the ankles. Or another option here is to grab opposite elbows and just gently begin to sway a little side to side. Notice if there's any tension in the neck here. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Shake your head maybe because it's okay not to have all the answers. If you fold it all the way forward, go ahead and come back to a more neutral position, bringing your hands to your thighs, reaching the crown of your head forward. And then bring your hands to your hips and very slowly imagine that you're rising all the way up, bending from the hips, moving very slowly here, taking your time. Until we make our way all the way back into Tadasana mountain pose. From here, coming back into mountain pose, we'll bring our, our feet underneath our hips, or you could even bring your feet together, so your choice here. 
On an inhale, slowly begin to raise your arms up over your head. And then on an exhale, drop your left hand to your left outer thigh. And reach your right arm up and over. Keeping the chest open, lifting the chin just a little here. Again, doesn't have to be any kind of big movements. And breathe. On an inhale, slowly begin to rise all the way up, bringing both of your arms up overhead once again. Exhale, drop your right hand to your right outer thigh. Lift your left arm up and over. Lift the chest, lift the chin, and breathe. On an inhale, slowly rise all the way back up. Reach both of your arms up over your head. And then exhale, release. Bring your hands to prayer to your heart. And we'll once again be bringing our awareness, bringing our mind back to our intentions. And also just noticing how we're feeling now. Noticing if there's any difference from the time we began to now. And you can release your hands from your heart. And very slowly, once again, take your time. There's no rush. We'll begin to make our way all the way onto our back. So first coming into a seated position. Mm -mm. And then slowly rolling all the way down onto your back. So once we get onto our back, begin to hug your knees into your chest. And we'll just kind of rock side to side. Option here to wrap your arms around your calves and just give yourself a big hug. From here, gently release your legs all the way out in front of you. And we'll do a practice um, that I don't normally teach, but I did today during my training um, and I really enjoyed it. So I would like to practice with you guys if you're okay with it. Really all we're gonna be doing is tensing up parts of our body one at a time and then releasing it. And when I did this practice earlier today, it just helped me feel so relaxed um, and helped me relax more into Shavasana. So we're gonna try it together today here. So from a lying position, we'll begin with our lower half of our body. We'll begin with the feet and with the legs. So from here, begin to tense up the feet, even beginning to tense up the muscles in the calves, in the knees, and the thighs. Squeeze really hard, take a big inhale. And then exhale, release. Next, we'll begin to tense up our hips. So begin to squeeze your buttocks together squeeze it. Take a big inhale through your nose. And then sigh it out through your mouth. <sighs> Release. Next, we'll begin to tense and clench our fists. 
Begin to tense up your arms. Squeeze all the muscles in your biceps and your triceps and your forearm. And take a big inhale through the nose. And then sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> Release. Next, we'll begin to tense up our shoulders. Option here to squeeze your shoulders to your ears. Um, I'm not sure if I liked that part of the practice earlier today. So if you are able to just squeeze your shoulders, maybe squeezing the shoulder blades together behind your back, or even like squeezing them together like forward in the chest, just seeing how that feels. See if you can tighten the chest. Take a big inhale through the nose. And then sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> Release. Last thing we will do is we'll begin to squeeze our face together. So squeezing the eyes Closing the eyes really tight, clenching the nose, kind of curling the nose, bringing everything in your face. Imagine it's coming to the center. Take a big inhale through the nose, and sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> Release. Just notice how you feel after the practice. And we'll begin to make our way into Shavasana, our final resting pose. Just notice how the earth feels underneath of you. Allow your breath to return back to its natural rhythm. And our goal here is just to be as relaxed and as comfortable as possible. So if you would like to place a pillow underneath the head, go ahead and do so. You could even place a pillow under the hips or under the knees. Another option here is to bend the knees, bringing your feet out about as wide as a yoga man, and then allowing your knees to drop together in the center. With the hands, you can place the hands down by your sides, palms facing up, palms facing down for maybe more grounding energy. Or an option here to rest the hands on the belly, rest the hands on the heart, maybe one on the heart, one on the belly. You can even place your arms out to the sides of you or even up overhead. So again, lots of choices here. No right or wrong, no better or worse. It's just learning how to listen to what our needs are in this moment. So as we continue to lie here in Shavasana, there's really nothing to do here besides let go. So we'll begin to just relax here for a few moments. And I will cue us out of Shavasana here shortly.
if you would like to stay in Shavasana for a longer period of time, please go ahead and do so. There's really no time frame that you should or supposed to stay in Shavasana. So just listen to what your needs are today. If you're ready to begin making your way out of the practice, We'll begin to gently deepen the breath. Begin a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Begin to gently wiggle the fingers. Begin to wiggle the toes. Do a few circles with the wrist with the ankles. Interlace your hands out in front of you. And as you take a big inhale through the nose, reach your arms up over your head. Take a big good morning stretch, making yourself as long as possible. And on an exhale, bring your knees into your chest and slowly begin to roll over onto the right side, using your right bicep almost as a pillow for your head. See so if you can keep your eyes closed here and moving as slow as you possibly can. No need to rush it. Begin to press your left palm into the earth, right palm into the earth, slowly making your way back up to an easy seated position. Sukhasana, the place where we started. Place your hands on the tops of your knees, once again, or on the tops of your thighs, or in your lap, one palm on top of the other. And from here, just begin to notice the rhythm of your breath. Watching the breath rise as you inhale. Watching the breath fall as you exhale. Slow with control. This time, bring your palms to your heart. You may even notice your heart beating underneath your palm. You may notice your chest rising and falling as you continue to breathe. And from here, just take a moment to express some gratitude towards yourself for doing a practice today to take care of yourself, to give yourself that self-love, that self-care, that TLC. And last opportunity during this practice to just Lift the outer corners of your mouth, smiling. You can gently release your hands from your heart whenever you're ready. And then gently begin to breathe, your eyes open.
I want to say thank you to everyone who came to hang out. Um, I appreciate you. You are loved. You're seen. And being able to just stop and take a few moments out of your day to take care of yourself is so amazing and so beautiful. And it all really does start with you. Whenever we're able to tend to ourselves and to take care of ourselves and to give ourselves love, we are then better able to serve others, to take care of other people, to take care of our community, um, and to make the world a better place. But it all starts with you. So thank you again for being here. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or the rest of your evening. And before you go, I will say that <laughs> I do have my um, Cash App in the title. It is, is not at all necessary, um, but if you do feel guided or inspired to leave a tip, um, that is where you can do that. You can do it on Venmo, PayPal, Cash App. Again, not at all, um, not at all expected, but always appreciated. So from there, I just want to say thank you again. Uh, I'll peep the comments. Thank you again for all the um, love and support. Someone said they had a rose quartz in their or in their pocket too. I love the like synchronicity like that. So don't go. I'm about to go um, spend time with my daughter and my sister. But thank you again for being here. I hope you felt like you got something out of the practice. And I do stuff like this almost every day. So if you feel guided to come back and practice yoga again, I would so love to have you. And I really do appreciate um, any kind of love or support. Like, honestly, it gets me emotional <laughs> because it's like, you know, you don't have to support people or be kind to people but it's like when you go out of way to do out of your way to do so it's just a really beautiful thing i really do appreciate it a lot so all right thank you so much again and i will talk to you soon peace